Hi everyone, so we are into the finals of the World Cup 2023. The summit class is there, India versus Australia. And I think two of the best teams have reached the finals. Uh, two of the Four of the best teams had reached the semi-finals. India beating New Zealand and Mumbai. Australia beating South Africa in a thriller at Kolkata uh, uh, in a match, a low-scoring match. So I think it, uh, the final is between the two best teams uh, in the world for quite some time now, India and Australia. Both in both Test Cricket, One Day Cricket and maybe even T20. So now uh, the finals are here. Australia has won it five times in seven appearances in the final. It's their eighth appearance in the final while India is, it, this is their fourth appearance in the finals and they have won it already two times, maybe the third time this time. So if I just quickly uh, analyze both the teams, uh, I think India are the favorites to win this final by some distance, I would say. I would say. They have won uh, 10 matches on the trot. All the matches they have played till the semi-finals, they have won. And on the other hand, Australia started poorly, two bad losses initially to India and South Africa. And then they picked up momentum through, slowly, slowly and won seven matches, uh, seven matches uh, on the trot and then the semi-finals. So eight matches on the trot. And on the whole, Australia really picked up and then that Glenn Maxwell innings must have given them a lot of belief that Glenn Maxwell epic knock versus Afghanistan. So overall, uh, if I just uh, quickly go through the strengths and weaknesses, India batting wise, opening batting, I think both the teams are almost equally balanced. India has Rohit Sharma, he's been taking the game on beautifully, brilliant shots, cuts, pulls, hooks and all. And uh, Subman Gil is playing very sublime uh, innings, uh, scoring runs as well as playing solidly. So uh, opening batting, on the other hand, in Australia's case, we have David Warner and and Travis said both of them can go explosive. So David Warner can play the long innings, Travis said can go explosive. So batting wise, opening wise, I think both the teams are equally balanced in the opening batting. Then comes the middle order. In middle order, three, four, five, six, I think India is far ahead than Australia. Why? Because Virat Kohli is scoring runs, Shares are scoring runs and even striking the ball brilliantly, violently in the towards the end overs. K Rahul can play all types of uh, knocks. He can can uh, drop anchor, he can uh, score explosive and there is Shurjiya Kumar Yadav who can score explosive. So middle order India looking very solid. On the other hand, we have got Australia's middle order which has been, which has still been struggling in this World Cup. Even in the semi-finals, they huffed and puffed and won. Uh, the middle order is struggling against spin. Steve Smith and Ravushan, both of them are not at their best, when they're, especially when they are playing spin bowling. and. Uh, uh, and we have got uh, uh, then uh, Glenn Maxwell is a bit of a lottery. You never know what you expect from Maxwell. He can play a blinder or he can get out first ball. And then uh, uh, you have uh, Josh English who is a decent player but he hasn't been that consistent. So overall Australia is having some issues uh, in the middle order batting compared to India which looks very very solid. Now comes the lower middle order batting that is the tailenders and the bowlers. Here, Australia is far ahead than India. India has got four number 11s, to be honest. But Australia has got a solid, uh, I mean, uh, Stark and Cummins and Zampa. All three of them can bat. Only Hazelwood can't bat much. But Zampa has improved his batting. Cummins has won matches, uh, chasing totals. And uh, Stark can also bat and hit big sixes. So Australia's lower order batting is better than India. So here comes the opening uh, then comes the bowling attack bowling attack pace attack india has been outstanding uh, across all teams in this world cup bumra shami siraj has been absolutely special shami has uh, is one uh, of the highest wicket takers in this world cup bumra has been in uh, in full control siraj has had one or two bad matches but overall he has been very good also uh, pace bowling attack for australia uh, they had lacked that uh, venom that we used to know of them in the past. Stark, Hazelwood, Cummins are aging bowlers, especially Stark and Hazelwood. They have struggled in the group stages, uh, could not make power wickets, but in, in the semi-finals, they were absolutely brilliant. Of course, the, the conditions held, the, there was a cloud cover, but then they were be beautiful bowling by both Stark and Hazelwood and also Cummins later on. So overall, Australian bowling has improved in the semi-finals, but then the bowling-wise, pace bowling-wise, definitely India is ahead. Spain bowling-wise too, India is ahead with Jadeja and Kuldi not giving much runs, picking up wickets. On the other hand, uh, Australia playing Glenn Maxwell. He's not a wicket taker, but he has bowled with control. And Adam Zampa, who has bowled very well, taken a lot of wickets, but then he has also been expensive in certain matches. So overall, spin bowling also, wise I would say, India has got the edge. And now comes to the fielding part. The fielding part, there is no contest whatsoever. Australia is far and ahead than India in fielding. 
They have been brilliant in the semi-finals. Uh, some of the fielding they did in the semi-finals is probably the best fielding we saw in this World Cup. The fielding that Australia did in the semi-finals. They have, uh, they, in the power play, they had saved six on seven certain fours. Brilliant fielding. India, on the other hand, has had their fielding issues once in a while, but they have also been fielding pretty well. Standard has been good, but Australia fielding is ahead. So overall, fielding Australia ahead, bowling attack, total bowling attack Australia far ahead. Batting also India is ahead, only in the lower uh, order batting Australia is ahead. So overall, you can see that India is much stronger than Australia across uh, all parameters. And definitely they are the favourites to win, but you never can count out Australia. They have got big match experience, they are always dangerous in knockouts and they have won five titles so they know how to win world cups they know how to compete and there that innings of maxwell has given the new belief and i think australia will really fight it is a, a real good fight expected in the finals it will be an attritional final but i think india is going to win this one so let's hope for a great final and enjoy thank you very much